Hello, this is Carol Brown Earl from Bristol, Virginia. And today, this is chapter two of Grant Cardone's book, The Millionaire Booklet, uh, and how to get super rich. <laughs> and chapter two is about where you get your advice. So I'm gonna, it's a pretty long chapter, so I think I might divide it up into two days, or I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, this is great. Grant Cardone, everything's backwards, right? The Millionaire Booklet, How to Get Super Rich. Okay, where you get your advice. Word of warning. For this to work, you need to start being very selective about where you get your advice. Tell someone you are reading a book about how to get super rich and they'll most likely tell you it's impossible. Just try it right now. Call a few friends and I assure you that at least one of them will say, really? The only person who's going to get rich is the guy who wrote the book. You see, part of the problem is that most financial advice from people who are struggling with or who have given up on money, most of the advice we get about money is from people close to us who either don't have money or have given up on it. Some of the people you get advice from have never even thought financial freedom possible. That's so true, guys. You must look beyond the dumb advice of family, television prudence, blogs, get rich articles, cute quotes on Instagram, and silly little things, silly little sayings. Um, look beyond all the noise and, confu and confess about money and you will discover a select group of people who have created enormous wealth. I am talking about the top percentile of the wealthiest people on the planet. Like magnets of wealth and prosperity, they appear to magically prosper no matter what happens. Some doing better in bad times than good times. These are the people who you should study and model your financial journey on. Be very selective where you get your financial advice and never take advice from a quitter or a pretender. There are many pretenders out there and even more who have simply quit on financial freedom. You know, they give up, they get frustrated, they don't know where to go and they quit and that's not good. That's, that means there's something more to learn out there. Okay, um, next page. I tell you this because where I got my advice early on was mostly from observing my surroundings. I originally learned from my immediate environment and adopted the, the philosophies of those close to me. I grew up in the middle class. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> my father worked very hard to create middle class life for us. And this was a big accomplishment for them. Both my mother and father were both brought up poor. My dad made it into the middle class and shortly afterwards he died at the young age of 52. Wow. There's a quote, never take advice from a quitter or a pretender. My mother had no knowledge of money and was left with the responsibility to raise five kids on just a little bit of money from my father's life insurance. My mom was scared, overwhelmed, Every day she was playing defense, trying to figure out how to make ends meet. I felt powerless. I couldn't help her. So I couldn't help her, or so I thought. My mother's mantra was waste nothing, turn off the lights, only use what you need, save everything, and be grateful. By the time I was 16, I was fed up with watching my mother in a never ending state of fear. One day I told her, I'm going to get rich someday, so I don't have to worry about money. When I do, I'm going to help a lot of people. My mother thought I was being ungrateful, brat, but I wasn't. I wasn't grateful because I, yeah, I wasn't grateful because I hated how our life was and the results I have spent the past 40 years trying to change that for myself and others. Getting rich is a taboo, taboo topic in our society today. Go outside and tell someone, I'm going to become super rich, and they will think you're crazy. 
get rich and then openly tell people I am rich and society will label you a greedy gluttonous elistric pig <laughs> tell them you are poor and they will show you sympathy but let them I'm sorry but let them you are no well, you must have been a typo here let them know you are rich and they will despise you the truth is getting the truth is getting rich even super rich shouldn't be a taboo it should be your battle cry last year i helped raise more than a hundred million dollars for charities i remember a time when i couldn't lend you a dollar i was so broke getting rich is not only possible it is vital to your survival and your ability to help those you love we live on an we live on an economic planet every day every one of us is confronted with money requirements limitations from shopping at the grocery store to feeding yourself to taking care of your kids and parents to funding yourself through old age to take care of unexpected setbacks and here's another quote getting rich even super rich shouldn't be a taboo it should be your battle cry Did you write that down i'm going to say that again i love it getting rich even super rich shouldn't be a taboo it should be your battle cry that's wonderful the entire subject of money is greatly misunderstood what is money where did it come from who decides what it's worth what is enough how do i invest it when do i have enough to invest how most people don't even know what they pay in taxes most people have been have more money saved when they are under the age of 10 than when they get out of college it's crazy when you think about it how can a kid who knows something about money have more money than an adult with a degree the reality is most of us have incorrect knowledge about money from our upbringings when you are brought up poor or middle class you inherit the beliefs of the poor and the middle class you're struck with their ideas the simplicity of money in economics is not nearly as complicated as the schools universities economists financial channels make it out to be money economics and, am and amassing financial freedom is actually very simple it is guys it's it's all about your mindset you know what you've been raised to believe you know and you're stuck in this box and you know you don't know you have no idea what's on the other side out that door and how to really make wealth for yourself and it is very possible here i'll go on <laughs> for instance anyone who tells you that money won't make you happy never had enough money to know i know what it's going to say whether it is whether it would or wouldn't be this idea is born from those who try to make sense of what they can't have money people justify it and try to make sense of their condition in life for example he says my mother clipped coupons as though she is i'm sorry as though her life depended on it because that was her only play she spent all of her time justifying those actions i remember when she visited me in beverly hills long after i had made it financially we went grocery shopping together and i told her mom grab six of the artichokes she said in a southern southern, southern accent oh my god son i can't buy those for one dollar less back home i told her mom make it a dozen since i can't go broke one dollar at a time another quote those brought up poor in middle class inherit the beliefs of the poor in the middle class these quotes are important guys let me read that one again those brought up poor and middle class inherit the beliefs of the poor in the middle class that darn boxer stick stuck in see you see my mom was stuck with the beliefs of the poor in middle class long after it mattered sorry I'm getting dry <laughs> that what people do 
they defend what they have done to survive and then get stuck in this lower poor condition now back to whether money will or will not make you happy I can assure you money will not make you happy nor will it make you unhappy I have been happy and unhappy I have been broke and I've been rich they have nothing to do with one another and whoever talks about them in the same conversation is someone justifying why they don't have money one additional note on this from personal experience if you are going to be unhappy be unhappy as rich as you possibly can <laughs> you know <laughs> financial freedom is two parts mental and one point mechanical one part mechanical and you have to get your mental part right first what I mean is that you probably need to lose your mind first <laughs> including many of the beliefs you were brought up with for instance getting rich is mostly a game of offense amen to that it's not defense like my mother taught me taking risks today is the way to eliminate the risk but you have to take risks at the right time your daddy's advice was always play defense with money to get rich you have to learn to be an offensive most of the time not defense wealth knows no age or sick and it doesn't care about your story it shows no sympathy and has no feelings it listens to no God there is no age too young or too old anyone anyone can play the game but you have to play the game of well on offense so important another quote if you're going to be unhappy <laughs> be as rich as possible <coughs> excuse me guys i think i need a quick slug of some water here Ooh. sorry about that okay this is really great i love this book um to win at the game of money you have to be on the field as an offensive player first later once you are way ahead in the game of money you can play defense if you want to get rich you can't stay on defense or be a spectator you need to have a strategy all that I'm sorry all that being said it has never been easier to get rich than it is today and never more important just last year 500,000 households in America became millionaires are you ready to get rich it can happen I am one of those people who figured out how to create wealth I have become a millionaire hundreds of times over I am telling you this to inspire you you can do this the wealth I have created was not because of my education I totally wasted that it wasn't because of my connections I destroyed them all <laughs> and it wasn't because I was lucky I've never been one of those neither <laughs> I also didn't take a company public or create some cool invention or some fancy apparatus of some sort um, or just an app you hold in your hand information that will show you how to make and accumulate millions of dollars even hundreds of millions of dollars I would tell you this I would tell you this I can get to the next page right oh, they're so skinny I would tell you this <laughs> maybe tell you this oh here we go I would tell you this booklet could make you a billionaire but I haven't done that yet so I will only claim make claims to what I have done for myself and others and he asked you to do three things in this book one keep this booklet in your possession until you become a millionaire y'all need to get this Two, share it with a friend here's the title yeah it's millionairebooklet.com millionairebooklet.com so you can get one of these once you get yours help others do the same ends with a quote getting rich is mostly a game of offense not defense <laughs> so 
those are Grant Cardone's million dollar, which way it up, million dollar words for today. So I hope that you guys found a lot of value in this. I know I do. Every time I read the dang thing, it, he's amazing. I'm all over Grant. But anyway, it's been nice. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got value. And I guess that's all I'm going to say for today. God bless. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye.